Now let's talk about the next type of operator that we have got in Apex. We have got this operator in other programming languages as well. And this operator is shorthand operator. Let me explain you what is the basic use or significance of using shorthand operators. Shorthand operators are uh, like basically reduces the effort of a developer. And let me explain you how it reduces the effort of a developer. So if we want to execute anything, right? So if we, uh, we want to add something uh, onto like a variable and we want to store it into that variable only, then instead of writing it down, like, like imagine there is a variable called as A and in A I have stored 50. And what I want is that inside A, uh, whatever the value is, it should be incremented by 10. So instead of writing down A is equals to A plus 10, I can write it down like A plus equals to 10. So over here, this plus equals to is the shorthand operator, which basically uh, reduces the effort of a developer. And it like it gets executed in a similar way like a is equals to a plus 10 and you can use it wherever you want and instead of plus you can use like minus you can use multiply you can use divide and different different operators so let's have a look at them one by one so here is a list of uh, shortened operators that we have got in apex uh, number one plus equals to i have explained it to you right now uh, then minus equals to and then multiply equals to then divide equals to and then or equals to and then and equals to so like x plus equals to y is equivalent to x is equals to x plus y Make sense? x minus equals to y is equals to x is equals to x minus y. So whatever the operator that you're using before equals to will be used between the two operands that you are specifying into that statement. And if it is uh, x like multiply equals to y, then in that case x multiply y and it will be stored into x. That's it. Now let's have a look at them one by one. So we have got two integers, integer a and integer b. In integer a, I've got 5 and integer b, we've got 3. So if I'll write down a plus equals to b, what do you think should be the output of a? So this a plus b will actually get evaluated like this. a is equals to a plus b, right? So what is there in a, uh, like what is there in a? 5 and what is there in b? 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8 and this 8 will be stored in a. That's it. So the value that we'll get from this statement or after ex uh, the execution of this statement from A will be 8. But in B, it will be 3 only because B is not on the left hand side. I hope you're getting it. Now let's have a look at the other shorthand operators as well. Minus equals to. So if I'll do like if I'll execute A minus equals to B. So in A, we have got 8 and in B, we have got 3. You can see it over here, 8 and 3. So like if I'll minus... Uh, a, or like 3 from 8 then in that case uh, the result will be 5 and that result will be stored onto the left uh, the operand or the variable which is onto the left hand side which is a in this case so again a will be 5 and b will be 3 that's it multiply equals to so a multiply equals to b so again a multiply b is 5 into 3 15 15 will be stored in a so that's it next 3 yeah b b is left out like the value of b is ne not getting like is never going to change until unless you write it down onto the left hand side make sense and similarly divide equals to so if i'll write down a divide equals to b then in that case it will work like uh, 15 divided by 3 because we have got 15 in a and 3 in b so 15 divided by 3 so again in a we have got 5 and in b we have got 3 now there are two different shorthand operators that you might not have seen earlier in uh, the programming languages that you have worked in and that is shorthand or and shorthand and so let's have a look at them so this this or operator also works in a similar way so this is like expressed like if x uh, or y or equals to y if this is the statement is equivalent to x is equals to x or y that's it nothing else so I have stored uh, true in B1, uh, B2 uh, in B2 I have stored false, B3 false, B4 false. So I'll write down B1 or equals to B2. So it will be like evaluated just like this. Let me explain to you.
बी वन इज इक्वल टू बी वन और बी टू सो इन बी वन वी हैव गॉट ट्रू एंड इन बी टू वी हैव गॉट फॉल्स सो द होल आउटपुट ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज ट्रू विच विल बी स्टोर्ड इन बी वन सो दिस इज एक्जैक्टली सिमिलर टू बी वन इक्वल टू टू दैट आई हैव रिटर्न डाउन ओवर हेयर एज अ कॉमेंट सो या दिस हाउ इट वर्क्स नेक्स्ट इज बी फोर और इक्वल टू बी वन बी फोर हैज गॉट लाइक फॉल्स एंड बी वन हैज गॉट ट्रू सो द और ऑपरेटर विल सेंड ट्रू टू बी फोर सो बी फोर विल बी सेट टू ट्रू नाउ बी टू और इक्वल टू बी थ्री सो इन बी टू आई हैवन चेंज द वैल्यू येट एंड बी थ्री आई हैवन चेंज द वैल्यू येट सो लाइक बोथ ऑफ दम आर फॉल्स सो द फाइनल आउटपुट दैट विल बी स्टोर इन बी टू विल बी अ फॉल्स हैज इट इज रिटर्न ओवर हेयर नेक्स्ट शॉर्ट हैंड एंड इट्स या over there it was or over here it is and so b1 equals to true i have said and if i'll write down b1 and equals to b4 so this means uh, we are evaluating it like this so uh, yeah in b4 we have got what true over here and uh, what i'm doing over here is b1 and b4 both of them had uh, like have got true which will be stored in b1 so b1 will be left with true as a Value. Whereas in B four, uh, like earlier, we left true. Yeah, it's still true. And in B two, we have left false. So in this case, B four will uh, like will get false as a value because true and false are false if the operator is and. So it will be stored in B four. So B four will be set as false. And B through B B two and equals to B three. Will be set as false because in B two we have got what false and B three we have got like why do we have to care about B three if one value is false then and operator will anyway return false right so in B two we'll get false as a value and that's all about the shorthand operators that we have got.